Huh? What are you doing here? How did you get here? Um, can you not see me? Hey, I'm talking to you. I said, what are you doing here? Don't get all freaked out. It's only an endless murky abyss you're trudging through. You can go on and on, lose yourself in this pitch-black wasteland, waiting for hours but getting nowhere. But for now, stop moving. Turn around. What? Not what you were expecting? <sighs> After all this time, you finally use me. Tch. Your grandma wouldn't have treated me this way. I was her favorite teapot, after all. Yep, it's me. The teapot you now use to hold your art supplies, or random miscellaneous crap. And look at you now, finally using me to boil salt water, of all things. Salt water. Oh, boo-hoo. Take some cough medicine if you feel that bad. It's not my problem you don't take care of yourself. Do you know how foul that tasted? <sighs> oh, what a hassle. I am a Tsukumogami. That's right. I've been used for over 100 years, and now have consciousness. Your great-grandpa used me, then your grandma, and now I'm left with you. I'm not some evil spirit, so salt shouldn't technically affect me, but I'm a spirit with refined tastes. I have been delicately seasoned over the years, and believe me, when you're used to the floral and spice mixture of your grandma's teas, everything else tastes so bitter. You've only had me in your possession for two months now, and yet you still managed to truly, utterly insult me. Calm down, calm down. You're not dead. That'd be awful. It would mean I'd have to put up with you even longer. I guess you really need me to explain everything to you. When you started boiling salt water in me, I started coughing like crazy. Well, you didn't perceive it as coughing. I was rattling all over the place. Either way, it spooked you enough that you tripped over yourself. You must have bonked your head really badly if you wound up in this realm. In other words, you're not dead. Uh, do I have to? What do I get from helping you? Basic respect? Using me for my actual purpose? Ha! <laughs> not happening. Spending an eternity here will teach you a lesson. You don't have to apologize. <sighs> I guess it can't be helped. Fine. And it's only because I like your grandma so much. I'm perfectly fine on my own. So, I don't want you here anyways. So, first, we need to get out of this place. And to do that, you're gonna have to help me out. I need you to hold me. Troublesome child. I said to hold me. I'm not messing with you. Do you want to get out of here or not? All right. Now, raise me towards the sky. Or, well, upwards in this case. Now, 
Focus on a setting you feel most at ease. Maybe a memory or calm retreat you can always turn to. I said concentrate. There we go. See? You did it. Huh? Wait a minute. Aren't you from the city? Why are we in the middle of the woods? What do you mean you don't know? Really? <sighs> oh, forget it. Just start walking. And keep holding me. It's the least you can do. Wait a minute. You recognize this place now too, right? Well, get closer. It is. It's your grandmother's cottage. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't familiar to me at first. I'd only be outside the kitchen once in a while when she wanted to drink tea in the front yard. And as a kid, you weren't allowed to go that far into the woods. No wonder you didn't know where we were, either. Wait, was that... It can't be. You see that too, right? Come on, hurry. Let's follow it. This... this is a memory, isn't it? That's the only reason why she's right here. My best friend, your grandma. I can recognize that aroma anywhere. Her brilliant concoction of herbs and spices. <laughs> There was a lot of trial and error for that recipe. And we both endured the taste of every bad batch. But it was worth it to her because it was your favorite. You were her little chapa. How fitting, her calling you her little tea leaf. Huh. And wouldn't you know it, that's you right there, isn't it? With that goofy smile you carried as a kid. I can't believe how fast time flies for you humans. It feels like only moments ago you were that small. Hey, do you remember? One time you scavenged in the garden and used me to hold any smooth stones you found. Your grandma was so upset, but she didn't have the heart to scold you. <laughs> she just put me on a higher shelf so you couldn't reach me. I miss her a lot, you know. She was so talkative. A rambler who could go on for hours, even if she lived alone. Because she'd always talk to herself, she made some of the neighbors who stopped by a little concerned. But I guarantee you, she was happy on her own. And she was always, always happy to see you. And even if I'm just a teapot, I think deep down, she knew I was listening. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sentimental. R really? Oh, 
I could tell you stories about me and her for hours. She was innovative, kind, hardworking. I see a lot of that in you, too. The same determined look on your face when you are deep into work, chasing your passions. I'm glad you value these memories as much as I do. I know that when she passed, she left feeling content. She wouldn't want those she loves to grieve for her. She's in a better place now. It's been over 100 days since her passing, so traditionally she's successfully moved on to the realm beyond ours by now. <clears throat> right. We need to get you out of here. I have an idea. You're gonna have to connect to your past self to get back in your physical body. So go up to your younger self and poke the child or something. Focus on reconnecting to your physical world and moving on. Hmm. You're right. This would be a farewell. I suppose I should give you some life advice before we part ways. Hmm. <sighs> Coming up with something on the spot is a lot of pressure. Uh, well, if you take anything from your grandma, what matters most is being sure of yourself. It takes time, and there's no need to rush trying to figure everything out all at once. But you know what makes you happiest, and whoever wants to judge you for it can go drink some salt water. Or... Whatever doesn't taste good to you, humans. Ah, you don't have to thank me. You are doing good at the pace you're going. But, you know, if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. All right. Take better care of yourself from now on. I don't care how many times it takes for you to create your own special tea recipe. Whatever makes you happy. We'll keep trying until we figure it out. Together. I'll see you, Chaba. <laughs>